Yellowstone Cole Hauser reveals scariest thing about Rip Wheeler. Yellowstone introduced actor Cole Hauser to an entirely new audience with his iconic portrayal of bad boy Rip Wheeler. Recently, Hauser dished on the scariest thing about the Dutton family enforcer. So what did he have to say? Yellowstone. Cole Hauser struck gold with iconic role. Cole Hauser was by no means a newcomer to the industry when he landed the role of Rip Wheeler on Taylor Sheridan's Yellowstone. He was an industry veteran with numerous film credits. However, Hauser was introduced to an entirely new audience with his portrayal of Rip. Cole Hauser's portrayal of bad boy Rip Wheeler is so convincing that this is the only role many fans think of when the actor comes up. This was by no means a make-or-break role for him, as he was already a successful actor. However, this role elevated him to another level, and he is certainly enjoying the fruits of his labor. Yellowstone actor reveals the scariest thing about Rip Wheeler. On screen, Cole Hauser in full Rip Wheeler garb strikes quite the intimidating figure. As the Dutton family muscle, Hauser brings the necessary grit to the character who is never afraid to get his hands dirty. Recently, Hauser dished on what he feels is the scariest thing about his character, and it's not what viewers might expect. On the surface, viewers might think it's Rip's capacity for incredible levels of violence that makes him an imposing presence. However, according to the man who plays him, that's not the most terrifying thing about his character. Hauser said recently that the scariest thing about Rip Wheeler is that he is like normal people, adding that Rip is just that kind of animal. Cole Hauser chats Yellowstone Season 5, his all-time favorite scene in coffee. If you love Yellowstone as much as you love your morning coffee, then you're in the right place. Last week, I had the pleasure of catching up with Cole Hauser, who you'll recognize as the tough-as-nails Rip Wheeler from the new Western drama. During our chat, the 49-year-old discussed the upcoming season of Yellowstone, as well as an exciting new initiative launched by his coffee and lifestyle brand, Free Reen Coffee Company. When asked about what fans can expect from Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2, Hauser said, I think nobody knows. What's great about Taylor Sheridan and what Paramount are doing is, they're gonna keep everything pretty close to the vest right now. But I think as we start to film, you know, I've heard that the sets are close, which I like, and we'll be able to focus a little bit more than the past, so we shall see what happens. Hauser also revealed that he hasn't been paying much attention to all the season five theories that have surfaced. However, he trusts that Sheridan will deliver something that'll make the fans want to tune in to part two. He said, I never thought that far ahead. It's totally Taylor's decision. His mind is unbelievable, and wherever he puts those Beth and Rip's characters, it's gonna be fun and crazy. After watching his co-star, Kelly Riley, open up about her favorite moment from season five, I couldn't help but ask Hauser if he also had a memorable scene. He told me, for season five, no, but I think in season three, where John gives me the house. You know, for a kid who was basically shoveling sh asterisk to, you know, at a ranch, it's like the camel boy that, finally, was allowed to come out and have the house in the plains. To me, the journey to get to that place was huge. And sitting there and reading that note that he gave me was one of the most touching moments on the show. As for Free Rain Coffee, Hauser discussed the brand's Texas origins, and most importantly, its mission. He said, Everybody has coffee, but it's like, how do we change it to make it not just a Western brand? but a Western-inspired lifestyle. It's for everybody, but it's kind of got that Heartland style to it. Which, you know, America right now is loving Yellowstone, and there's an audience for that. It's kind of gone out into the edges, like California and New York, which has been kind of wild to see over the last couple of years. It's gained so much momentum that it's now about, okay, what's our message? How can we inspire people? It comes as no surprise, then, that his company has just launched a Mother's Day initiative to support military spouses. Arlen Davich, the CEO of Free Reen Coffee Company, explained, Hauser is on the board of the Special Operations Warrior Foundation, 
which supports the families of fallen soldiers. So it's not just the vets themselves that are making sacrifices. This Mother's Day initiative is really meant to support moms who are carrying a lot of the weight while their husbands or sons serve. FYI, anyone who spends $50 or more on Free Reen's website between now and May 12 will automatically donate a bag of coffee to a military spouse through the partnership. So if you're a coffee enthusiast like Hauser, who admits to having about four cups a day, I highly recommend you try their bold and earthy flavors, including one of Hauser's favorites, American Dirt.